Drive Shaholics. Welcome back to another episode. We're taking off. We got Chris here on deck. See Bonnie, remember him? And Matt, Chris's friend Matt. And we're in uh, East Greenwich, heading out in the bay right now. And if we're going for some fluke. Yeah, maybe some tripers. Could possibly. Happen, could, happen. could happen. Chris, you ready to catch some fish? Yeah. Looking for some big ones. Big flatties? That's what we're hoping. All right. Target species. Yeah, tar we're targeting some big doormat fluke, hopefully. And uh, I'm on my way south. And this was kind of along the way. Chris hit me up last second about going out because he saw that I was up in Mass. And in the last video, you guys probably saw me fishing Rockport and from the surf. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I haven't fished Rhode Island waters in quite some time, uh, except for maybe being like out in the boat coming over from like Montauk. So those are, you know, sometimes that's technically Rhode Island waters, but going out of Rhode Island, yeah, it's been a while. So I'm excited. Stay tuned. Let's go catch some fish. to our first spot. Alright, got the gulp there. So this is how I'm going to be rigging up. I got two dropper loops here. I'm just going to loop on both of these bucktails. Alright, that looks good. And then we're gonna loop on this eight ounce sinker that Chris lent me. Hopefully we don't lose it in the bottom. Starboard drift here. Let's see what's happening. Any nibbles yet? Yeah, some little little stuff. Yeah. This is where I got my 10 pounds last year. Oh yeah, you got your 10 pounder here? Yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. What's our drift speed right now? 0.8, Oh, that's not fast, that's perfect. Yeah, it's good. Oh, just had a bite, that was a good bite. Yeah. Felt like a fluke. Moving? Yeah. All right guys, making a move. Just some little bites here. And a bunch of snags. <clears throat> Three snags, we each snagged the bottom and lost the weight. All right, let's try here. Where would you fish today if you didn't come out here? Uh, I was thinking about launching the kayaks by like the walls. Yeah. Oh, there was, oh, there he is. I thought I lost them for a sec, uh, and I think I just did. The right time. First one of the day. Ew! <laughs> nice, nice boat flip. <laughs> boat, boat flip into Chris. <laughs> hey, a step in the right direction. We're getting there. What do you got there? Oh, little short fluke. I got one. Didn't even feel the bite. That's a fairly sea bass. It's a sea bass. That's a healthy sea bass. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. If I was going to keep any fish, I would keep the sea bass. Yeah. You want me to throw them in the cooler for you? Uh, I'm not keeping any fish today. Very hard 
Nice. Oh. Oh, the sinker, the fluke, hitting everything's hitting the deck. That's got to be a keeper, though. Yeah. Well over. Yeah. How big? 19 and a half. 19 and a half. Nice. So we're really not out here to like fill up the cooler. We're just catching them to have fun. So. Might be the first catch and release fluke fishing video ever. <laughs> Probably. Just, like, the last fish anyone's gonna release. Yeah, exactly. No but but you know what? Like one of you guys watching could catch that fluke that Chris just caught one day and it could be a 10 pounder. Yeah. So that's what catch and release uh, helps accomplish. Or tomorrow it could get caught in a dragging net and yeah. one of you guys watching can eat it too. Looks like a keeper. Maybe a keeper. Maybe. You see that? I did. He just ripped it out of your hand. Yeah, I hit myself in the chin. What happened? I went to set the hook and I came off my hand and went right <laughs> off. There's one. Oh. My drag is just set really loose. Yeah. Finally got a flute hooked up here. Whew, feels good. Especially when you know that it has the right head shakes of the one that you're after. Got two on there, two flutes. Oh, look at that, double header. Oh, I lost one. Get the net, we could've got him. <laughs> Almost got two for one. That's cool. Those flukes are down there. Yeah, they're, they're maybe, maybe the bite's starting to turn on a little bit more. Oh, oh, you're on. That's right before the snag, right? Yeah, well, we're off the snag. Yeah. We're not in line with the snag anymore. We went All right. Off. All right, guys. We're going back up for another drift, and it's pretty cool. We got a little double header there, and I actually added a swimming mullet on a dropper loop just above my bucktail on this uh, fish finder rig and it worked it was cool to get two on there briefly uh, up to the surface so now we're ready for another drift let's do it uh, again we're kind of working right uh, like along a little edge right yeah, yeah and is it what's the significant like depth change two foot two, two feet, feet so that insignificant yeah rock. really insignificant but you have to rock pay to attention sand. to your rock to sand cool and you have to pay attention to your your sonar to see that little change and that's where the fish are hanging out on and towards the end of the drift, there's a lot of snags. So we're pulling up right before we get to the, those snags, which we learned, and then we're just kind of short drift in this area. So let's get the rig down there and keep it going. There's like on top of the three foot change, nothing, nothing. We went, the further we went down on the ledge, we got some, and yeah. down we did. Yeah. Much better. Trial and error. Yeah. And lots of time on the water. Yeah. Chris and Matt uh, work on, what boat again do you guys work on? Seven Bs. Seven Bs. And. We're also not just using gulp. You, you guys got some fluke belly from the boat, right? From some yeah, keepers, yeah. and and they they brought some fluke, some, some squid belly. and some fluke bellies from some char, uh, from some party boat trips. So we're doing whatever it takes to feed these fish. You on? Oh, get the net. Yeah. All right, I'll get it. See, uh, see what Chris has here. A little better. I just swing him. You just swing him? Yeah, yeah. Or, I got him. You got him? Nice. I don't necessarily. 22. Solid three. Necessarily. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, that oh, I dropped one. Proper fluke, huh? No. It, it's got some good weight to it. Yeah, it looks like a proper fluke. If it is, it might be a netter. Especially after straightening the hook and bending it back. Right. I'm afraid it's it might nice reopen. Uh, uh, he's not that big. Yeah, hey, he's not that good. Hit the teaser. 
not the worst idea to keep her. It's not the worst idea to keep her. You want to keep one? Or we got we got we got to keep the video fully catch and release. Oh, yeah. You know. Just shy. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, guys, making a switch to white here. Pink kind of slowed down a bit for me. Definitely the worst so far. Oh, then yesterday. It kind of like takes a while for. Oh, there's a good fish. That might be a sea bass, though. <clears throat> yeah, or a sea robin or something. Oh yeah, it's a pretty good one. Nice. We'll take that. Just for the heck of it, I'll throw him on the bogo. Let's see how heavy he is. This is about three pounds. Chris is on a nice one. Oh yeah. That's got some good weight to it. Stopping power. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Put that in the net. There we go. Good. A little better. Sweet. Good work. Nice. What? All right, let's get back down there. And Chris is using a much bigger presentation than I am, so I probably is helping, especially if these bigger fish want a larger bite. Twenty-three inches. Nice. Oh, oh, oh! Little skip. Well, he, 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 he's still on the boat. Oh! I just stuck one. This might be a fluke here. This one's got some good weight to it, boys. Hard to tell with the eight ounces of lead on there and the faster drift, but yeah, it's not a coincidence for you to get that last one and then no, no. I'm to hook into something like this. This one might be worthy of the net. Ah. Nice, nice fluke. Definitely a little better yeah. quality. Well. My biggest of the day. Yeah, nice All right. There we go. It kind of paid off, I guess, switching to the white Spro. Nice. Are we keeping track of how many were keepers or not? Uh, not really. I'm mine. I think you have four. Just about four 20 inches, five. this one. You got four or five. I got two keepers. All right. You got two? All right, yeah, it's pretty cool. We're getting some nicer fish now. The tide actually turned. We got out here on an outgoing. Now the tide is coming in, and our drift is a little faster because the wind has picked up a little bit. And we're gonna go back up now. I'm gonna put my leftover Chinese out in the sun to heat it up for some lunch. Doesn't that, doesn't that sound good? Yeah, fried seagull <laughs> or uh, rabbit. <laughs> Drag rigs aren't hard to tie up. No, they're not. <laughs> I have all the material. Oh, there he is. There you go. Oh, I got a bird, Sea Robin. All right, well, cool little Sea Robin. You want to lift these guys, or you can pinch them on the nose, and you want to stay away from those sharp little thorns that they have. Guys, since the bite has slowed up a little bit, it's time to eat some lunch here. Eat this Chinese. It's not, ooh, it's not bad. The Florida sun definitely makes it hotter. Like all, after letting it sit in the sun for like 10 minutes, it's like smoking. <laughs> Literally. Got there. Chicken and broccoli and pork fried rice. Uh, no bite. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It does look good. Is that from one of your old uh, Chinese places? Or somewhere new? No, somewhere new in, in Gloucester, actually. Oh, yeah? It was weird, though. I went to, like, 
two separate Chinese uh, food restaurants in Gloucester. One was closed, and I went to another one, and it looked like an abandoned house. And then the third one finally was the jackpot, and yeah. this is what I got for dinner. Everything closes like at 9 p.m. there. Yeah. So weird. So guys, once we finish up this drift, we, um, Matt and Chris were talking about going to hit a buoy, right? Yeah. And maybe a couple other spots until this current dies down a little bit and then maybe come back here and see if we can hit them hard. I've got this much more. <laughs> I am in range that hasn't been, that hasn't been used before. We are in the best range. That one? Oh! Biggin? Baby sea bass? <laughs> Probably big. Look. That much more now. Like no line on the reel. Oh after, my god. After he's, after he's in, Chris finally hooked up. He had he had bare, barely any line on the reel because he kept letting it out to keep the, the, the sinker worst, near the bottom. The worst grip. Oh Chris, I think we uh all... And he's using ten ounces of weight. I was using eight ounces. Ten ounces, twenty pound red. Yeah. All the right stuff, but not Some, sometimes it doesn't matter. Right, oh, you got one too? Oh, you're tangled. Can you help? Well, we'll see. Hopefully it's just like right over. Let's just stand together here. Okay. He's still reeling right now. Still reeling this thing in it. I feel like I've been reeling in forever. That's not fun. Keep dropping for <laughs> sure. I wonder who actually caught it. Might be a keeper. That book is tired. <laughs> okay. Alright. Lift him in. That's a keeper. Oh, yeah, that is a keeper. Yeah. So we know where they we know they're down there, but they're just not biting <laughs> great. That's a keeper. Sure. Just shy of 20 inches. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're gonna head out of here from the ocean and head back uh, in. We're gonna start working our way back towards the launch, but possibly gonna stop off at a spot where we can throw some plugs for some bluefish and some stripers, which should be fun. And we tried to, uh, you know, come back into the area where we were getting some fish, but the drift is just still too uh, too fast. Matt and Chris got one more fish each, but other than that, it's been pretty slow. So we'll, I'll see you at the next spot. Hopefully we can get a few more fish on board. Guys, let's see if we can get anything off this point here. It looks like an awesome spot. Lots of structure. We're in about 30 feet of water. I'm just gonna try swimming a fishaholic finback shad above the bottom, back to the boat. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Chris is on a fish with the epoxy. Blue. Oh, I'm on. Yep. Doubled up. That rock, you see that thing? See how it's breaking like that? Yeah, okay, yeah, there's a big rock right not, there. We gotta not hit that. What we got? I think I got a small that? striper. Yeah. We might have a pair of little stripers. Oh, we're over. Oh. Oh, 
Oh. Which way I know? Am I under? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think we pulled these fish right off that big rock you were yeah, talking right about. Up our ass. I, don't know following. I got followers. Oh, they're stacked up, stacked up. Oh, bass. Two bass? Two bass. Great job, Cap. You really. Great job, Captain Matt. Put us on them. Yeah. Rare size, too. Yours looks a little bigger. Hey, whatever. What are you tossing? Uh, that's good. Under us? Yeah. There he is. There's another one. Whoa. There we go. Cooperation. Yeah. Basically right in the same spot, but it, like, kind of like behind the rock. I got some more swim baits if you want. Right. You want to try it? All right. My goal is to see if you have followers. <laughs> That'd be cool. Snipe the followers. There you go. <laughs> Lazy man style. Oh, I just lost them. Uh, we'll never. Dang. Oh, okay. That's back. It's hard to see the rock is the problem. Like, hard to see the rock. Oh, I just had another bite. Oh, they're on me. Oh, they're on me. They're on me. They're on me. Oh, no. Oh, they're, they're in. You got the school. Yeah, I'm definitely going through the school. There he is. Got him again, finally. Must have been like five or six followers. Yeah. Sweet. There's another little diaper striper. Spirited one. <laughs> All right, let's pop the shad out. Send him back. I bet it looks huge. One ounce jig, one and a half. Uh, one and a half. Yeah. Hey, let me switch sides. Oh, he's already on it. They're on it as soon as it's out there. Oh, they're on it again. Oh, there he is. Oh, I keep losing them. Fuck. There he is. Ah, oh, got him. They are seriously stacked up out there. Oh, no. Oh, don't take the jig. Don't take the jig. <laughs> oh, you want a shark bait? Yeah. All right, yeah. this is perfect. There we go. It's like a nine pounder, 10 pounder maybe. All right, we'll throw him on the bogo because I got it. He's like right at nine pounds, eight and a half. Throw him in the cooler. All right. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's get another fishaholic pinback shad on. I'm also just gonna dip it in the gulp juice because why not? Damn. Yeah, a little secret uh, sauce there. There he is. Got him. Oh, look at that wave. That's a good one. Look at that, guys. <laughs> We're getting up close and personal with the surf to get on this little late afternoon bite. We're putting our lives on the line to to make this uh, video happen. That one just broke. Yeah, that's where the th you know 20, 30 pounder will be. See how big this guy is just for the heck of it. Yeah. yeah, it's about 25 inches. There he is. Got him. 
right on the spot. The good old reliable zoom fluke. <laughs> I think you're you're probably the one guy that's you fished like literally the entire east coast of Florida. I mean of, of the United States with a zoom fluke probably and caught fish on it. So that, that's impressive. It's 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 a reliable lure. The the most simple lures sometimes catch the most fish. Another striper. Fun stuff. Whew. Oh, I'm on again. There we go. So this one might be a bluefish. Whew. I'm having a blast. So this is fun. A little bit hotter than the fluke bite. That was that was a grind. And I guess we could all say that probably that, that uptick in the weather yesterday with the, the heavy winds and the swell that came up today probably shut the bite down yeah, a little bit. I think it probably negatively impacted the bite. Yeah. Oh, look, I got followers right here. Followers, yeah. a bunch of them. Looked like there was like five or six right underneath them. There we go. Let's see how big he is. 27. You're good. You're good. Go ahead. Just about 27. There he is. Oh. There we go. Okay, now, I don't really. Spunky little fella. There we go. See ya. Oh, there he is. Wow, I found a really small striper. This guy choked it. All right, guys, we got fish popping now right off this point. Yeah? Oh, that's sweet. I'm gonna cut off the shad just to switch it up. And I think we gotta throw on like a spook or something like this. We'll see what happens. Yeah, they're probably still here. All right, let's get on some top water action. You can see the purple water. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're on. We're gonna, we're gonna double up on top water here. Oh, that's nice. That looks like a good fish. Oh, look at that, they're hitting me, they're, they're on me right now. Oh my gosh, they are going crazy. Look at this, look at this. They are going, oh, it's a big blue fish there. I got them. <laughs> they were going insane just to try and get this. Uh, yo, Matt, get, you should get a, a popper on out of the, buck, the, the, out of the bin. Oh, look at them go. Woo. Oh, 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 this big blue is making this certate scream. This is a good sized bluefish on that spook. And I can't tell you how many bluefish chase this thing trying to eat it. I think like th there were so many fish erupting on my plug, but I, my plug was right behind your popper. So I think it was, oh, there, look at that. Quick release, he popped off. Um, I think there was just like, you know, two to six fish, like trying to hit your popper and my popper at the same, or my uh, spook at the same time, you know? Long fish. The whole time. They just went down. Oh, there he is. You got a bite? Oh, there he is. Oh, oh he came off. Oh my God. Uh -oh. He's on that time. <sighs> Ooh. Oh, another another one just tried to eat it. <laughs> I might have two on. Two on. Or like one came off, I think, just now. But I had two on briefly. 
bluefish are just so aggressive you know they are definitely one of a kind oh, he, he's got followers yeah he's got a lot of followers oh look he just hit it he hit, tried to hit the plug again oh, man now's probably your time right yeah, if you want to fit. cast one out there cast, out. Ca cast right behind me right here there's like 10 of them right here I would cast right here. There's so many. Right by my fish. Let's see. Nice. I got followers too. I'm gonna get I'm gonna cast it to you. Yeah, look at all the followers behind mine, dude. Bass are following mine. Hey, a little magic. Oh, oh! All right, triple, triple them up. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're zigzagging here. Got to keep the lines clean. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my God. It's on, it's on right now. Just give us a little gas. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get we're in the we're in the the wave zone. <laughs> oh god, we're we oh shit. Go go go. Go go go. <laughs> oh my god. That one that one was close. That's <laughs> why tripling up is not a great idea. Alright, let me go under you. I thought I was getting wet by that one. There we go. I'm just scared of my feet. I don't even want to be standing on this deck right now with two bluefish. Once Matt loses his grip on it, <laughs> it starts flapping. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> you, you weren't wrong. You weren't. Oh, you know what's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just take your time with them. Nice fish. I don't like poppers. I like spooks more. <laughs> I got it. I got one in there. Like the same thing as this. Holy sh! I almost killed the cormorant. Oh, look at that! Right, they're on me. Oh gosh! I got them. I literally almost landed on the cormorant, and then the bluefish were right underneath them. I know, right? <laughs> Oh, I lost them. Oh, he's back on again. Followers. Yeah, lots of followers. That's for sure. All right. All right, there he is. Another gator. Oh, hold on oh. right away. Quick release. I love the quick releases that these bluefish are helping me out with. <laughs> oh my gosh, you see that bite? <laughs> oh, look at that right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> holy shit. They're, aggra they're ultra aggressive. They are. All right, Charlie well, we wrapped it up after that last fish. And uh, good work, boys. It was a solid 12 hour day. Good job, Matt. Matt yeah. spent a lot of time behind the wheel putting us on the fish. There's a little, a little cabin that, and it was a little dicey there at that last spot, you know, for a couple moments where, you know, you see the wave coming at you, you're like getting ready to break, and we got lucky that it didn't. Uh, but that, that was awesome. Loved the action. Nothing too crazy. The blues were big. Stripers, you know, could have could have been a little bigger, but that was still awesome because they were feisty and got probably, what, like a dozen? Ten. Ten, a dozen yeah. stripers. Um, and uh, they say that they, they were uh, the guys were saying that it's not usually uh hot there like it was today either right. so we got lucky lucky so it's not like a spot that you just pull up to day in and day out and catch them you know you gotta have the right conditions uh we had like an outgoing tide and a hard southwest blow for the last like a uh, couple days so you know the, the, the fish and the bait were probably just pushed up in there but anyway thank you guys so much for watching uh thanks to matt again chris uh, check out his video check out his channel I'll link it in the description and um, i'm not sure where you'll see me next maybe new jersey or chris was telling me to hit 
Virginia, mm -hmm. maybe get on the Cobia. The bridge tunnel. Yeah, get the, Might I, as well. I'd, I'd love to get on some Cobia. Um, you know, probably gonna stop in North Carolina somewhere, South Carolina, then maybe Jacksonville, and then eventually make my way home. So it's gonna be good to be home for a bit before going to Panama. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe button to stay tuned. And like always, live the fish. Fish to live.